I got home to find this huge box, um, which is from Urban Outfitters. And I ordered a whole bunch of stuff for my new bathroom because I just got my bathroom redone. And I'm going to show you guys once everything's done because currently it's not completely finished. So I don't want to show you guys, you know, the unfinished product. Like, what artist does that? So this is the huge box I came home to. It doesn't even fit in the screen. See, it's so big. Um, and I'm just going to reveal what is inside right now because I have a pair of scissors. Um, don't try this at home, kids, but I'm going to open a box. Regardless of what happens with this box, it'll be an interesting video, so... <laughs> By the way guys, I have not seen what's inside this box yet. The first thing I got are these little, um, I don't know what this is called. It's something that hangs in your shower and it holds all your stuff. So there's a better picture of it right here. It's called a shower caddy and it just kind of hangs on the shower and it holds all your, you know, collectibles. Or not your collectibles, all your stuff, like all my Lush stuff, all my shower, you know, goodies and things like that. So it hangs like with a little, you know, this thing on your shower. And I got this. It has three little dividers. So my sister will have one. I'll have two, of course. That's how it works. Did you hear that? <laughs> anyway, I got this shower mat and it's in the shape or like it has a little picture of a whale on it. It's blue. And it has a white whale and it just sticks to the bottom of your shower. It doesn't stick, but it suctions there. It, um, it has little suction cups in the bottom and it just stays there so you don't slip and slide all over the place because trust me, I've been that girl to... Yeah, yeah, I got this, and it's really cute, and they also had a really um, cute other one that had like a no diving symbol, but I was like, you know, I need the whale. The whale makes, takes the cake. Um, okay, my teacher today, I was, my Spanish teacher is a little, she's, she's an interesting gal, and she was talking about um, something about not being like her cup of tea, like she, it's not her cup of tea, you know what I'm saying, but she said, um, it's not my cup of cake, so... Yeah, I thought I'd share that with you because I thought it was really funny. So the shower curtain I purchased from Urban Outfitters is completely sheer. So I bought a shower um, curtain liner to go behind it when it's um, on my shower or like hanging on my shower. And if you guys have, you know, been in my bathroom, not been in my bathroom, but if you've seen the videos that are filmed in my bathroom, you guys would know I have a very atrocious shower curtain that's like multicolored polka dots. So this one is more, you know, chic and just sh savvy chic chic I guess chic's the only word that describes it um it's a barbershop like theme but don't get like weirded out by that because it's kind of just a bunch of like antique um like things like perfume bottles I don't know how to explain it I'll put a picture um here if you guys want to see the full effect so feast your eyes on that uh so yeah that's what it is and I'm gonna move back now okay yep 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 what is sticking? There's something sticking to my face. Do you see it? Do you see something sticking to my face? So I do a lot of online shopping and I received a bunch of stuff in the mail so I wanted to show you that really quick. And But the first thing though, I got my Christmas cards in the mail today. My mom ordered like 300 or like four. I don't know. We have a lot of friends. So uh, we ordered our Christmas card. This is what it looks like. I'm covering up my last name. It says the blank. The Hello Kitty XO family right here. And if you guys have seen my video, um, the like how to wear riding boots and riding pants video. Uh, I forget what it's called. I'll link it in the down bar. I actually took my picture on that day and I was wearing the same outfit. So wearing my um, shirt from Stylement in this Christmas card, uh, which I love. So this is what the inside of the card says. And I thought you guys should see this little quote down here. This is like, not quote, Bible verse, because it's one of my very favorites. I tweet this all the time. He will fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with shouts of joy. And I love it. It's from Job 821. So if you guys are curious about that, if you're Bible readers. So that's the card. And I thought I would share this with you guys because you deserve one of these. So thank you guys for being with me. You know, the Hello Kitty XO family. We should make our own Christmas card, you know, with all of our faces on it. That would take a long time, but it's worth it. Anyway, so so the other thing I got in the mail was this um, lovely pink package, which is from MyGlam.com. And if you guys are, you know, like, oh my god, another sponsorship company. This is actually the YouTube Girls company. Like, not YouTube Girls, but I mean, when I say that, I mean, like, like all my favorite YouTubers. Like, Michelle Phan, Bethany, all them, like, Andrea's Choice. They put together this thing called My Glam, and I mean... <laughs> I, they did not send me this. I bought this because I saw it and I'm like, wow, only 10 bucks a month for this. And it's like $100 a year, but I'm, I'm going to do month by month because I don't think I really want it every month. I don't really know. I have never really done one of those monthly things and actually kept up with, kept, kept up with it. Keep keep going with it, kept up with it. I was really surprised because it comes with this purple little zip up pouch and on the inside is a bunch of little sponsorship thingies, whatever, little papers. Then comes the real action. They have these My Couture, um, blotting paper but I don't have oily skin so I don't really need that I may give it to a friend but that's pretty cool and then it has this little um full eyeshadow from Urban Decay and it's the um 
their it's their most popular eyeshadow in Sin, and a lot of you guys have this. I know I already have this eyeshadow, but it's cool to have a full one. Little mini NYX lip gloss, which is perfect for travel, but now that I think about it, it's a soft matte lip cream in M Milan, and I thought that was pretty cool. I was going to say Milan. Milan, and then comes with a mini primer potion, of course, because like every product comes with these mini primer potions nowadays, like the Naked Palette, and now... This little My Glam set, but it's pretty cool. Mirror in this little guy, and there's something at the bottom, I can't find it. Uh, it comes with a little mini Tarte mascara and Lights Camera Lashes. Why is my hand shaking? I don't know. So it comes with all that stuff, and then you also get this cute little travel bag, or whatever you want to use it for. I might use it for school, my pencil pouch, because it's pretty cool. It's kind of shiny, so it won't, you know, collect residue all over it. And then the inside is like a makeup bag, so it won't have stuff sticking. You know, it has a little note from Michelle Phan. Obviously, it's not re really from her, but her face is on there. I'm like, wow Michelle Phan like this is pretty cool pretty big for her like I'm really proud of her I mean I know this is kind of weird like guru to guru I'm proud of her she's never really seemed fake to me a lot of people are like oh she's so sponsored oh you know um whatever that brand Lancome sponsors her and she's so fake but I don't think so like some people on here are kind of turning to the dark side but I think Michelle Phan is still pretty you know pure if you know what I mean like I like her but yeah so I love that little kit and I will be continuing to purchase the My Glam monthly whatever set my voice is like really rattling today I'm kind of battling a little cold <clears throat> and what am I talking about oh and then I also got something from Jewel Mint, and it just comes in this little green thing. I'm going to do this really quick. I get that you guys don't really like Jewel Mint that much, and but I love Jewel Mint, and a lot of other people do too, but some people just, you know, get one opinion in their head, and they don't, you know. I don't know. That was like me in The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games is like a really, really popular book series. So many of my friends wanted me to read The Hunger Games for the longest time. Katie, you have to read The Hunger Games. They're so good. And I was like, you know what? This is like when the vampire whole thing was going on, like the Twilight Saga was really popular, and I thought it was like a a Twilight type of book. I thought it was like a vampire book because it's called The Hunger Games and I was like, oh, it's about like vampires eating people. I don't really like the whole gory like Breaking Dawn. I was literally, literally, literally cringing during the part when Bella was drinking the blood. Like, it was gross. I know it was fake, but like in my head I just tasted, it was bad. So, what was I leading on to? Hunger Games. And then I read it like last, like two weeks ago. I started the series and I'm on book three now. So don't, la la la, don't tell me what's going on. But anyway, I really, really like the series. Um, so I, I don't know what the moral of the story is. But basically, don't judge something until you try it. Yeah, done. Anyway, Jewel Mint, I got this one piece. Whoopsie daisy, it's not really very cute looking because I just put it back in here because I already opened it. And I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, night Owl Necklace. And it goes down to like about my tummy area, my belly button. And it's just really cool looking. Like I can't really explain it. It doesn't really look like an owl to me at all. Like I don't even know who would think this looks like an owl. I know my hands are really attractive right now. I've always, I have these really wrinkly hands and everyone always tells me that. But anyway, this is what the medallion of the necklace looks like. It's just black and it has some little beveled um, or little like pebble um, metal right here. I don't know what that's called. It has a few little scattered beads up here and then the rest of the chain is just regular metal. And also from Jewelman I got these little friendship bracelets and there's three of them. And I think I might do a video on these because they're really cute so I'm just gonna, you, know, you know, this is this little sneak peek of that. The other day I went to the mall with my mom and I bought a bunch of Christmas presents. I did end up buying some things for myself because I mean, hey, I went shopping, I saw some stuff, I liked it, I bought it, you know, the whole story. It's, it's the same, same old, same old. So anyway, I bought this bra. <laughs> This sports bra from Airy, and I absolutely love this pattern. Like it's really cool. I mean, I've had this one for a week, uh, two weeks I think, like two and a half weeks. I don't know. I've already worn this to the gym, and it's really cool. It has like little pads in there, so it gives you gives you a little boost, a little help. And then also it has like netting on the side, like whatever this is called, so it breathes. So I went back last weekend, and I bought the matching pants, and I'm actually wearing them right now. Um, and I'm also wearing this shirt, which I got from shoot, what's it called? I got it from Francesca's collection, so if you guys are curious, that's what I'm wearing. And then on my bosom, my bosom's this, my butt's this. I'm wearing the yoga pants that match the bra, and I thought they were really cool, so I went back and bought them. And I also got another pair, but my mom's going to put it under the tree for me. I have a lot of pink fuzz all over mine because I got this bathrobe from Forever 21, um, which is really cool. It's like pink, it's hot pink carry cloth, and I've worn this like literally everywhere, and it gets all over my clothes because I haven't brought myself to wash it yet, and I probably should because that's kind of gross, like who's been touching it, but uh, whatever. It's only $15. So yeah, um, that's that. Oh, and look at my socks, guys. Holiday socks, and they're the ones with the little toes built in. Don't look at my legs, I haven't shaved in like a week. They have this like fuzzy detailing up here, and then the polka dots, and they're really cool, and I got them in my Secret Santa little gift. 
um, not Secret Santa. My friends and I did a white elephant. I got that. So, yeah. And then, oh, I have these, like, books in front of me. My friend Laura is trying to get me to read some really good books. So she gave me these three to read. Not gave, like, lended to me. Two Way Street by Lauren Barnholtz. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's what it looks like. And I thought this is really cool. Look at this. It's like a car on the cover, and that's what that looks like. So if you guys have any ideas on these books, like, let me know. And then there's also One Night That Changes Everything, also by Lauren Bernholt? Barnholt? Barnhold? Holt? I don't know, but anyway. That one too, and then Plan B, which sounds pretty good. And this girl on the cover, I actually know her, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm friends with her on Facebook, so... Yeah, so the last thing I'm going to show you is our two presents that I got from my family members. And the first one I got from my sister, and it's this hat, and it has a little panda bear on it. Ah! I'm not a hat person. Like, this is me in a hat. Like, I just don't do hats. This is my sister's panda hat, which I got from Justice. It was incredibly overpriced. It was $30 for this hat. Like, are you kidding me? I guess it's a pretty good quality hat, but still, that's pretty ridiculous. And I just don't look very good in hats. Like, seriously, look at me. And then... While I'm on the topic, and while I'm on the topic of gift giving, I, I got my mom this, these slippers, and they're actually in here. I should probably take these out, but they're um, Michael Kors slippers, and they're really cute. They, like, have really, really soft fuzz inside. It's, like, waffle weaving. Like, not waffle weaving. It's, like, knitted material up here, and then just says MK. And she actually picked these out. Like, she told me she wanted the Michael Kors, so I went and bought them for her. And, yeah, so I got those, and they were pretty expensive, but they're worth it. When I ask my dad what he wants for Christmas, he's always like, world peace or something like that. And I'm like, well, that's just ridiculous. So I'm just thinking of buying him a cake and, like, putting a world on it or something and being like, here you go. Here's a world piece of cake, you know. I don't know. I think that's kind of cheesy, but... Yeah, so that's all I have to say. Hopefully you guys like this video and maybe have something to say about it. And if you do, put it in the comment section. I love reading your comments. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!